Hello developers, in this video tutorial I am going to teach you how to set up and run C, C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. Yes, it is possible to run C, C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. For that you have to download Visual Studio Code and C, C++ compiler. Let me show you how to do it. I have given these download pages links on the video description. Now I am going to download the Visual Studio Code latest version. It is downloading, please wait. Visual Studio Code is downloaded successfully. Now I am going to install it. Accept the agreement, then click the next button again and again. You don't have to change any options. Finally click the install button. It will install Visual Studio Code on your operating system. It will take couple of minutes, please wait. Done. Visual Studio Code is successfully installed. Now I am going to install C, C++ compiler. As you can see that on the Visual Studio Code official documentation to run C, C++ in Visual Studio Code, you have to install C, C++ extension, then a compiler, C, C++ compiler. For C, C++ compiler, they are suggesting MINGW, right? To install that you have to uh, download MSYS2. I have also given this page link on the video description. Just go to this website and click download the installer button. It will start uh, to uh, download. Please wait. The software is downloaded successfully. Now I am going to install it. I am using Windows 10 64 bit operating system. Setup MSYS2 64 bit. Click next, then click next. You don't have to change anything. That's it. It is installing. It is installed successfully. Uh, when you click the finish button, it will automatically run the application. As you can see that. Okay. Now you need to run some commands to install MINGW, right? I have also given the command on the video description. You don't need to worry about that. I copied the command. I have also given this command on the video description. Don't worry about that. I pasted the command. Then I hit enter. Now it will automatically start to download MINGW64. You have to uh, click enter. If it is asking enter a selection, you have to just click enter. You don't need to type anything. I click enter. Again, it is asking enter a selection. So I hit the enter button again. Now it is asking proceed with installation. You have to type Y, then hit enter. Now it is uh, started to downloading the packages. It will take couple of minutes. Depends on your uh, internet data connection. There are totally 124 packages. As you can see here, total 17 slash 124. 20 is installed now. Need to install uh, 104 packages. Please wait. As you can see that uh, totally 121 packages installed just three is remaining please wait 123 yeah now it is uh, just checking the keys right please wait it is almost completed please wait now it is checking for file conflicts it done quickly Now it is uh, processing the package changes. As you can see that uh, installation is almost completed. Please wait. That's it. The installation is successfully completed. Now you can close the window. To check whether the C, C++ compiler is successfully installed or not, just open the command prompt. 
then type g plus plus space hyphen hyphen version then hit enter as you can see that uh, it is showing g plus plus is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file now i am going to check another command gdb space hyphen hyphen version it is also showing the same error gdb is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program program or batch file to fix this you have to add the path to the environment variables just to open the c disk you can find msy64 folder inside that you can find mingw64 open that then go to the bin folder then copy the path then type environment variables you can find the option in control panel click environment variables option then click the path then click the edit button then click new and paste then hit enter then ok that's it now i am going to close the command prompt and reopen it again ok now i am going to check whether the compiler is successfully installed or not by using this command you can see that it is returning g++ built by msos project 2 it means it is successfully installed now i am going to check the another command gdb space hyphen hyphen version yeah it is also returning the same it means c c++ compiler is successfully installed that's it now i am going to open visual studio code Yeah. you have to install two extensions so navigate to the extensions tab like that uh, or uh, use ctrl plus shift plus x shortcut to open the extensions page then type c c plus plus you can find that this is the extension we need to install just just click install it is installing yeah it is installed successfully then you have to install another another extension code runner which is used to run c c++ and other programming languages in visual studio code yeah that's it both extensions are successfully installed now i am going to create a new file then i am going to save the file as basic.c++ in my desktop that's it now i am going to create a basic c++ program colon in main then i am going to declare a variable int a equal to 5 semicolon int b equal to 10 semicolon then int c equal to a plus b semicolon finally i am going to print the output using c out c semicolon return 0 semicolon that's it ok now I am going to run this program when I click the run button you can find that uh, right side of the window when I click that you can see it is printed 15 right so it means the project is run it successfully so uh, we have successfully run it C C++ program in Visual Studio Code ok let me create a new C++ program uh, which will uh, get the input from the users. I'm going to name the program as index.cpp. Okay. Now I'm going to create the program.
int main. I'm going to declare variables int a comma b comma c semicolon. Okay, now I'm going to get the input from the users. C out. Enter two integers semicolon C in A B semicolon. Now I'm going to add two numbers C equal to A plus B semicolon. Finally, I'm going to print the output using C out. Addition of two numbers is C semicolon. That's it. Finally, return zero semicolon. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to run this C++ program, which will get the input from the users, then uh, uh, add the numbers, then finally uh, show the output. When I click the run button, it is asking enter two integers, but I cannot input the values. It is because of one issue. To resolve that, you have to click five, then preference, then settings, then type run in terminal little bit scroll down you can find code hyphen runner colon run in terminal tick this checkbox then close the window now let me run the program again code is already running use control plus alt plus m to stop the execution Oh, still it is run. Let me close the Visual Studio code and open it again. Okay. Now I'm going to run this C++ program. As you can see that it is uh, running in terminal. Now it is asking the input, enter two integers. I'm going to input five and 10. Addition of two numbers is 15. It is successfully printed the output. That's it guys, I hope this video helps you to run C, C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. If you have any doubts or issues, then please leave a comment, we will help you. To receive more videos about C, C++, don't forget to subscribe this channel.